welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we're going to take a look at the last two of the new Sisley blushes. These are the Lafito blush, and I at first I picked up one and two, and then I picked up four and five, and now I have three and six. It is time for a Sisley unboxing. So I got another one of these boxes. This time, instead of ordering from the Sisley website, I ordered from the Sisley Boutique in Las Vegas, and I ordered from a representative named Leanne, and I have all of her information down below in the description box. So if you are interested in ordering from her, I highly recommend it because, okay, so I've already opened this, so I know what's inside. She gave me samples galore, so it's so nice. So I ordered the last two of the new Lafito blushes. So this is number three in coral and number six, the highlight. And then in addition, I have like just this like plethora of samples. So I have a whole bunch of skincare samples here from the Fido Blanc line, which I've been wanting to try. I have the Supremia Yeux La Nuit and the, yeah, so the anti-aging cream and the eye serum. And then in here, I also have more samples and this would be the like Black Rose items. So actually more of them. So Black Rose, this is the cream. I have the eye serum and the mask. So amazing. Now, if you aren't familiar with the significance of red envelopes, this is for Lunar New Year, and traditionally people exchange money, and money is a popular gift that comes in red envelopes every Lunar New Year. So um, that's kind of where that came from. So anyway, just wanted to share another unboxing. I highly recommend ordering from Leanne, and all of, you know, she's really easy to talk to. I have her information down below, but she will swatch things for you. She can answer any questions you have. So definitely take a look at her information. So number three is the coral shade. And I have to say these look so much better in person than they do on the photos online. Online, I really couldn't tell what this coral looked like. It really just kind of looked very orange, but that's not really the case. It's, it's a, a nice coral shade. And then shimmer is the highlight shade. So let's go ahead and swatch these and, and then I will show you how both of these products com combine and how they apply separately and together. So we'll look at that and, and then we'll go over some comparisons. So here are the two shades. And you can see that the coral blush here is going to have that like matte luminous quality to it that all except number four golden rose had. So shades one, two, three, and five all have the same finish. Four is like a highlighting blush with, you know, it's, it's very luminous. There's like a gold metallic running through it. And then six, the shimmer, you can see here is going to be a gold shimmer and it's a bit different. It's, it's like a beigey gold. So, you know, it's almost as though there's like, it, it's more powdery than the other products in this line. So it, it's almost as though it's got like a powder base to it and the shimmer is separate. So when I put this on very deeply, it's almost as though I see like a beige powder with gold on top. So I will show you that in the application. Let's go ahead and check the application out now, and then we'll come back for some swatches. All right, so we are going to test out the coral blush today. And just like the others, they all come in this velour pouch. And one of the things I like about the Sisley pouches is that you actually can tuck them in to close them. Now, I don't really use the pouches often, but if I were traveling or something, I would like to keep it in a pouch. So I do always save my pouches. And the actual product, you've got a mirror and there is a sticker on the mirror, which I'm having a hard time getting off. But again, they've got a little pull tag for you, which makes it a little bit easier to get off. So this is the coral shade and let's go ahead and try this on. I'm gonna take the Chikahodu Z4 and we're gonna go in with this. You can see how easily the pigment comes up. I'm just tapping it a little bit off onto my cloth 
and just pat it on so you can see the color and then we'll swirl. Look at that. That's, you can see the luminous sheen already. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more. All right, so hopefully you can see that color fairly well. Let's go ahead to the other side. So here's the coral blush. All right, so I'm just wiping my brush on my cloth and I'm just gonna kind of blend this a little bit so it's not quite so stark in the front. And just blending it into the hairline here as well. There. So this is the coral blush. I like the color. Let's try the highlight. All right, so here is the highlight. And I have to say the pictures online don't do this one justice. Oops, I thought I had that off, but apparently I didn't. Um, but anyway, if you take a look at the actual highlight here, you can see how much sparkle there is online. It, it didn't really look quite so gold and sparkly. So we're going to try this out. So I'm taking the Chikahoto Z2. I'm going to go into this. I'm just going to pat a little bit on the brush. Just put that there. You can see there's definitely a gold sheen to it. What do you think? I'll make it a little bit more intense so you can really see the color here. I think it goes really well with the coral shade. I think it would be a nice idea for them to add like another two of these to the line, maybe like a pinker one and a silvery one, um, maybe even a peachy one, but I feel like this one's pretty gold. So yeah, I like the shade. I think it goes well with coral. I'll play with it more and see how it goes with the other shades as well. I'm going to take a little bit of this highlight and just kind of put it on the apple here of my cheeks. So just roll the brush a little bit and Wipe off the brush, just gonna kind of buff this a little bit. All right, so here is Coral and the highlight. And this is the final look from a distance. You can see the beautiful sheen from the highlight, how well it kind of blends in with the Coral blush. And yeah, so on my eyes, I have the Surat these are the eyeshadows that are in the new Supernova palette that they came out with. And then on my lips, I have a mix. I have the Chantecai Peach Blossom on, and then it's a little peachy for me. So I added the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in 722 on top of it to kind of tone that down just a little bit. And that's everything. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and we're gonna start off with the shimmer. And I'm using the Chikahoto Z2 and I'm gonna apply this by itself to the cheek so you can really see what it looks like on its own. See that shimmer? So it's not gonna be like a super intense shimmer, but you can definitely see the gold glint there. You can see the gold as you know the light hits it and so forth. So there's a sheen to it 
this formula feels a little um, a little different than the blush. You know, obviously it's not going to be as pigmented as the blush. It doesn't have as much of that creamy feeling to it when you go to put that on, but it still gives a really lovely finish to it. And yeah, so excuse my blemish there, but um, so you can see what the shimmer looks like on its own. I'm going to apply just a little bit more of this highlight so you can really see it. So here's the highlight. Let me put it on the other side as well. So you can see one layer versus multiple layers. And now I'm just going to take my finger in here and this still feels pretty creamy to the touch. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you tap it on. There's like, it's kind of like gold in like a beige powder. So when you tap it on to get a little bit more, you know, opacity there, you get that shimmer, but it's still going to be on the more subtle side because of kind of this like beige, beige base that's in here, which you know, I think will work really nice on slightly darker skin tones than what I have. Like medium, I think would be good for that base to just really give like a, like you wouldn't see the base is what I'm saying. Whereas when I go and apply it more opaquely on myself, then I can see that base in there. But I think on medium skin tones that would kind of blend in, you'd be able to get a little bit more just that shimmer look compared to what I have here. So now I'm going to take the Synergy Smooth Buffer. I'm taking the Coral Blush, number three, and I'm just going to put this on top of the highlight here. So just stamping that in. You can see how pigmented this is. We'll blend that out in a minute. Okay, I'm wiping my brush on my cloth to get any residual pigment off. I'm just gonna blend these together. You can see what the highlight does underneath the blush. You still have like that gold shimmer peeking through. So now we have a vibrant highlighting blush. All right, so this is what it looks like from a distance. We've got the shimmer underneath the coral blush on top. You can see where I applied the shimmer with my finger, how it's a little bit deeper there in coloration compared to this side where I didn't do that. So on my face, I have on the Merit uh, foundation stick in silk. I have the Surat eyeshadows. This is the new Cosmos palette in their Etoile collection. And then on my lips, I have the Dior lip liner in 100, topped with a couple layers of the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in Eau de Rose, which is number 112. It came out last spring, I believe. And that's everything. All right, we are going to apply the Coral Blush using the Sonia G Smooth Buffer. And last time when I put this on on its own, I used the, I forget which brush I used, but I used something softer. So we're going in with the Smooth Buffer. Put this on here. And I did use this on top of the shimmer yesterday when we applied it. So I kind of know how pigmented it goes on already, but just to show you what the blush looks like on its own. You can see you still get this like luminous quality from the blush. So I just stamped some of that off. And one of the great things about this particular brush is, I mean, look, I can just stamp it on and just leave it at that. I don't have to continue to buff it in, but I just, I really love 
the finish that it gets on my skin when I buff this in, especially after it has been a little while and it kind of like melts into my skin a little bit more. It just looks so incredibly natural. All right, that is definitely, there we go. All right, so here is the coral blush on its own. Just so you can see what coral looks like from a distance. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the highlight on top of this. Now for the highlight, I'm taking the Chikahoto Z2 and just going to dust this right there. All right, I wiped off this brush. I'm just going to use the side of it to kind of buff that in a little bit. Just very softly, it's not really a true buffy motion. But... All right, so this is gonna be it for me for highlight and I'll show you everything from a distance. So this is the coral blush with the highlight shimmer on top. And there you go. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then we'll talk about everything. And this is the final look for today. So I finished it off just by adding a little bit of the Gucci bronzer and fair right underneath the blush. And then I buffed the Guerlain Meteorites and Pearl Glow over my face. On my lips, I have the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Blush Lipstick padded on in a light layer. And then I used my finger to kind of blur out the edges to soften it. And I topped it with the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in 722. On my eyes, I have the Suku palette in 01. I have this in the crease, this all over the lid, and this on the inner corner. And then the deepest shade is the liner. And I'm wearing the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara today. And my base is from Merit Beauty. So be talking about that a bit next week. We are gonna start off comparing the coral shade. So I'm going to re-swatch that. We'll go right here in the middle. So here's the coral from Sisley. And the first one we're gonna compare it to is Fleur de Printemps from Chanel. So I'm gonna take this coral swatch here. And this is the Chanel. You can see it's gonna be a little softer, a little peachier. This is the coral duo from Shantakai that came out last summer. And here's this. You can see this one's got a little bit more orange in it. It's a brighter coral. This is the Burberry Essential Glow in medium to dark. And this shade here is called Coral. You can see that this is going to be a little bit softer. It's actually more similar to the Chanel, but it's a little bit peachier. And you can see how radiant that is as well. And last up, I have 219 from Dior. This is Rose Montagna. And this one here, again, is going to be a little bit lighter and softer. It's also a more powdery finish than the Sisley. The Sisley is such a creamy powder that it really melts in with your skin. It works really well for mature skin because it's not really, you know, it, it, it mel melds with your skin so well that it doesn't like settle into lines and so forth. So here are all of them. And I have to say that, you know, obviously there are similarities between all of them. It looks most like a cross between the Chanel and the Chantecai. However, the Chantecai does not show up this pigmented on my cheeks. It's really, it's a firmer pan product, so it's actually a little bit lighter on than the swatch here. But I think all of them have some similarities to it. Okay, so we're gonna take the highlight from the coral shade here, or the coral duo from Chantecai. We're gonna swatch that one here. You can see that's gonna be a lot more gold and it's not quite as powdery. It's, you know, the the Sisley one, it really is more powdery. It reminds me a lot of the formula from the Dior highlight from the holidays. So this is 310, I believe it's called Golden Snow, um, but it doesn't have the name on the back. It, has, it says Golden Nights, but I thought that was a collection name, so I could be wrong. So you can see that the, the color here is different. This is really just like, 
it's so ivory. Um, but I feel like the finish on them is similar. The Sicily is more sparkly, but you can see how powdery this is. It's the same deal with the Sicily. However, I have to say that when you put the Sicily on with a light brush, you know, with a, a light hand, it's not going on powdery. It's only when you build it up that you feel the powder, whereas the Dior is powdery all the time. So this Dior one, whether you put it on lightly or heavily, you definitely feel a lot of the powder. It feels very powdery, but the Sicily one, you only really feel the powder texture on your face if you apply a ton of it. So if you put it on with a light hand using a regular highlighting blush or a fan brush, you know, you're not really going to see the powder. It's just going to look like a subtle shimmer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Glow Highlight. And I don't think the color is that similar, but again, the finish is reminiscent. Although you can see how much more metallic this is. And the Charlotte Tilbury, although it feels a little powdery in the pan, it is a bit creamier when you actually spread it out. But again, it has a similar powder base to this, but this is much more strongly metallic, whereas the Sicily is more shimmer. And finally, this is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Palette. I'm gonna swatch this middle shade here, and I'm gonna put this one right here at the top. Oh yeah, these are just way more, more bright and similar. I was thinking that the color might be close, but once you put it on, it's really nowhere near that. And then I will just swatch the Pearl de Lumiere from Chanel. This again is gonna have a very different finish and it's gonna be a little bit more gold, whereas the Sicily here is gonna be a little bit peachier. And this is the Chanel Metal Peach. You can tell that mine is well loved. Here, I'm gonna squeeze this right in between here. So you can see the Sicily is a little bit more yellow Again, the shimmer and, and so forth is going to be different. The Sicily, you know, is, it's just, oh, again, that powdery base, whereas the Chanel's a little bit more metallic looking when you swatch it with your finger. However, on the cheeks, they both go on very nicely. So they're actually more similar on the face than they are on arm swatches. Now, overall, my thoughts on these two items. I absolutely love the coral blush. I think it is a stunning shade. I love the finish of it. It goes on beautifully. You can build it up. You can have it a little bit lighter. I absolutely love it. The shimmer highlight, I think actually looks really nice on the skin. I enjoy it. However, it's not my favorite. It's a little bit more powdery than I would have preferred. It looks nice on the skin, but I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little bit more similar in texture to the blushes than it actually is. So I think it looks great when I blend it in with the blush and buff it in. It wears all day for me, but it's just not my favorite texture. I prefer the Chanel highlighters over the Sisley. So if you've already got one, I don't think you need to have the, the Sisley highlighter personally, but it is a really nice product. So, you know, I'm happy that I completed my collection for, for these, but yeah, that one, um, it's probably my least favorite of these items. And we're just going to swatch all six of them together real quickly. This is number one, Pink Peony. Number two, Rosy Fuchsia. Number three, Coral. Four, Golden Rose. You can see how metallic that is just on the finger there. Five, Rosewood. And number six, Shimmer. So these are the six Lafito blushes from Sisley. And I have to say, I really love all of them. I love all six of them. You really can't go wrong with any of the items here. However, my favorite formula here are, you know, the number one, two, three, and five all have this like luminous matte formula that just looks so beautiful on the skin. So I prefer those four over Golden Rose and the Shimmer. These two, again, are a different formula as well. The Shimmer, again, feels like a powdery base with Shimmer in it. And the uh, Golden Rose, it's really more of just like a metallic blush. And it 
The texture feels slightly different from the more luminous matte ones, but much more similar to that. It's just that it has this really strong golden metallic look to it and you can see how that shimmers. So it's really hard to rank these. I'm not sure which one my absolute favorite is, but my top two are going to be Coral and Rosewood. These are the two I, you know, they're definitely my favorites, followed by the Rosy Fuchsia. And then I, I don't know, the Golden Rose and the Pink Peony are kind of tied. I really like both of them. I like the formula of the Pink Peony a little bit better than the Golden Rose because this one's a little bit more metallic, but it's also more unique. So I'm kind of tied between the two of them. And then the Shimmer would be my least favorite. Again, I still like all of them, but I do think in the case of the highlight that there are better highlighters out there. So I don't think it's, it's, it's not necessary in my opinion. I hope this was helpful. And again, I do have swatches and separate videos on the other ones that I picked up when I picked those up. So I will have the videos linked down below. I have blush one and two in a video and blush four and five in a video. So you can see like cheek swatches and comparisons for all of those shades there. So they will be linked down below in the description box if you need to reference those. But I highly recommend this new formula from Sisley. I really love it. Now it is pricey for a blush. It's $80, but I, you know, they are now at department stores. So hopefully we will be able to catch them on sale at some point as well. If you are ordering from Sisley, again, if you're ordering from the website, be sure to check for any online codes that may be available. Use CS2021 to get some extra samples. And if you have any questions or you'd like to see additional swatches from somebody at Sisley, do be sure to check out Leanne. I have her information down below in the description box as well. She's very helpful and she provides so many samples with purchase. So definitely check her out. And the phone number I have for her is a work phone. It's a work cell, so you can text or call on there. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them down below and I hope to see you very soon. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.